Let's see how we can create strip clusters faster using a script in PaintShop Pro. First, you have to start with an empty workspace. If you have images open, the script will let you know. In the script toolbar, find a script called Strip Cluster Maker, and you simply run the script. The script will open a blank image and prompt you to open an element from the folder where all the elements are. So I will open one folder. This is a kit from Heather T called Love Spoken Here. And I can see there is one folder with papers, one folder with elements. So I will simply pick one element from this folder to open. And then I have to reactivate that blank image that the script created at the beginning. And now I run the script a second time to complete the process. I can have a strip that is going to be horizontal or vertical. Let's make it horizontal. And I have the option to have few elements, so I have light density of elements, average, or have a lot of elements. So let's make it average. So in the background, the script is opening every single element to measure them and determine if they are going to be long elements like ribbons, stitches, tapes, or if they are flowers, buttons, or other elements that have a different shape. As you can see, it created one strip cluster. If I want another one, I simply click yes, and the script already has in memory all the elements from that folder. And maybe I'll create another one. So you can create clusters like this as often as you want. Each cluster will be different than any other cluster because of the random feature that is integrated in the code. Once you're happy, you say no and you are done. So from there, you can tweak the elements as you wish. So if I use this cluster, I can change the elements around, like I can see that you know, some were hidden behind. And maybe some I won't need, I can remove them, or I can see here there's another one behind. And that's about it. So maybe I like this one and I want to finish it off. At this point, I just have to add the appropriate shadows. Give me a second and I'll be back. And now you have your cluster ready to be used. You simply have to merge it if you want and use it on your project. Since the cluster is created at 3600 pixels in width, you can use it on a full size layout. If you want to size it down, it's up to you. Now, as you can see, this script will just speed up the process even though you still have to tweak it to make it eye-pleasing. Now it's your turn to create strip clusters using a script and go much faster.